Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. Edith Wyatt Moore began her professional writing career at the age of 17 as a correspondent for a Chattanooga newspaper. She worked as a journalist for other major city newspapers before moving to Natchez in the early 1930s where she turned her skills to local history. She founded the local historical society, serving as its first president, and was active in the collection and preservation of historical materials, including William Johnson's diary. As part of the Federal Writers Project, she interviewed formerly enslaved individuals, including Charles Davenport and James Lucas, who was 104 at the time. During World War II, she served in the Women's Army Corps and assisted in the editing of the Sky Fighter, published by the 4th Air Force and edited the Flash News at Napier Airfield in Alabama. Moore penned a number of romantic histories, including a book entitled Natchez Under the Hill. She also wrote some of the early histories of the tour homes in the area. Edith Wyatt Moore died in Natchez in 1973 at the age of 88. Hi, I'm Brett Brenniger. I'm an instructor of history at Capine Lincoln Community College Natchez campus, and I'm chairman of the Natchez Literary and Cinema Celebration, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.